can't, you can only have three. I know, I'm not That's so sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly. She's on her second page. <laughs> <laughs> what if I have four goals? All right. So has everybody got a little bit of a sense? And if you're still writing, go ahead and do this. So this is the question that I started doing with my tech groups. Because I got a little bit frustrated when I talked to them. So I would go in and go, what is it you're really all about? And what would you think the, the typical answers from business people that I would get? What's the top number one thing? What is your company about? What are you about? What is money? Or making money was a common one. Another one would be like, well, we... It's quality. We're all about quality. You know, service. Just these bland, generic, it, it, it's like there's got to be something that can drill down further so that we can understand and get down to a, more of a bedrock. You know, not building your house on sand, but getting below sand and getting into actual stone. How do you find that? So I would ask people, great, so you can what? So if somebody would volunteer, we can kind of start this exercise off a little bit and give me kind of a top goal that you have. Do you want to volunteer one? Be shy. Um, I find or create a job that isn't actually work. Find or create a job that isn't actually work. Yeah, that's a great one. Okay? So find or create a job that isn't actually work. So the purpose of this exercise, let me be clear, isn't to come up with an answer. It's to create a mind space for this afternoon's program. It's to understand that the deeper you delve, and, and, and the deeper you dig, you want to go down before you go up. You want to hit foundation before you build a skyscraper. And whether it's business or your personal identity, if you get so busy about getting busy about getting busy, you'll be three stories up on, on plywood and the house collapses because it was never really founded in what it is, that who you are and what you're really on task to do. So could you repeat the question to the, the goal again? Find or create a job that isn't actually work. Okay, find or create a job that isn't. The question to ask yourself, and then what we'll do is we'll spend a few minutes doing that, is so you can what? And in this scenario, what you imagine is that you have realized this goal. In this goal, you've just you found a job, it's no longer work, it's something you love. What is it that you're getting at by doing that? You want to do that so you can what? Oh, enjoy the career that I have. So that you can enjoy the career you have. So now you're in a career that you have and you're enjoying it. Now, so you can what? Um, be happy, be successful. Okay, so you can be happy and so now you're happy. <clears throat> now, so you can what? Um, not, not, not really That's sure. exactly where we all need to be. That's exactly where we need to be, not short. I, I got the happy. Yeah. I got to, what did, I got the happy, sure. It, it, I need to write, I got the right disease. Okay. <laughs> the reason we do this, and there's a method to this madness, we're gonna go into the ether a little on this, and that's okay. We talked about the risk, didn't we, of entrepreneurship. So <laughs> when we say, so you can what? We need to question our goals. We need to question where we're heading before we start off to be sure a little bit of the intention of our journey. Um, I'll share a story and then we'll take some time to go through your questions and ask yourself so you can what, and ask, write the answer to you so I can what question until you can no longer answer it. Until you run out of answers. <laughs>